Hello everyone and welcome to Ukulele Underground Songs Made Easy. My name is Aldrin Guerrero. I'm going to be your instructor for today. Joining me are Mr. Aaron the Voice Nakamura. Say what's up, Aaron. What's up? And also Mr. Kahai the Legend Forgan. Say what's up, Kahai. What's up? So today we're going to be working on a song called Rude by Magic. So this is a very fun song to play. You know, first time I heard this song, I was like, this is a catchy too. Like, who sings this? And they're like, oh, it's a, it's a band called Magic. I'm like, oh. <laughs> nice. Like, and I listen to the rest of the stuff. Like, this is pretty good. And um, you know, and then like after the two hundredth time listening to it, I'm like, yeah, this this song again. <laughs> you know, but I love it. Actually, I really love this. Song. I know I'm like teasing it and stuff, but I love this song. Um, we've never had a chance to teach it over here on Ukulele Underground because um, you know, we usually do things in its original key, and the original key for the song is just way too high for my register. And I'm like, I don't. I want to be able to do it, you know, justice, and we couldn't find anyone. That would kind of match singing this song, and I feel like this is a perfect opportunity for songs made easy because、uh, you know we can change the key to something easy and something that we all you know、uh, can reach in a register we all can reach, or at least relatively you know all of us can reach. But、um, some easier chords as well. The original key for this song is a C sharp. You know, like so. How often do you know do we all play in C sharp? You know what I mean? Like it's it's not that often. So. I changed it to the key of A. How often do we play, you know, the key of A on our Aloha Friday Live Jam? That's like the first song that we. That's the first key least, that we play, you know. At least once a week, right? <laughs> at least once a week we、at、play in the key of A. So,、um, you know, I've been doing a lot of、uh, songs in the key of C, and I figured, you know, let's、uh, let's take a little break from the key of C and、um, play this in the key of A. So I'll show you guys the chords. I'll show you a nice little strumming pattern that we can use to play the song simply, and、um, we can play it together and add it to our list of songs that we do on Fridays for our songs made easy jam. All right. So first, I'll show you folks how it sounds like.、Um, sing along if you guys know the lyrics, but it's gonna sound like this. This is a song called Rude. Saturday morning, jumped out of bed, put on my best suit, got in my car, raced like a jet, all the way to you. Knocked on your door, my heart and head, to ask you a question, 'cause I know that you're an old-fashioned man. Can I have your daughter for the rest of my life? Say yes, say yes, 'cause I need to know. Say you'll never get your blessing till the day I die. Tough luck, my friend, but the answer is no. And why you gotta be so rude? And don't you know I'm human too? And why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway. Marry that girl. Marry her anyway. Marry that girl. Yeah, no matter what you say. Marry that girl, and we'll be a family. Why you gotta be so rude? I hate to do this. You leave no choice. I can't live without her. Love me or hate me, we will be boys standing at that altar. Oh, we will run away to another galaxy. You know, you know she's in love with me. She will go anywhere I go, and your daughter for the rest of my life. Say yes, say yes, 'cause I need to know. You say I'll never get your blessing till the day I die. Tough luck, my friend, 'cause the answer's still no. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway. Marry that girl. Marry her anyway. Marry that girl. No matter what you say. Marry that girl, and we'll be a family. Why you gotta be so rude? So nice and simple in the key of A. Um. 
I have had personal experience in this. Actually, um, I had asked my wife, like, should I ask your dad, like, you know, for permission and stuff, like, if uh, if I want if I want to marry you. She's like, no, I'm sure if he'll say he'll say it's okay. <laughs> so he'll say it's okay. I'm like, you sure? You sure it's gonna be okay? So uh, um, we don't we don't want to be that yeah. rude song. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and you know, and now I'm like, as a dad, I kind of have like the other experience. But like, if someone to ask my daughter, I'm like. You know, and if you're wearing a beanie, like Kai just brought it up yeah. <laughs> in the I'm, video, he's wearing a beanie. Yeah. But I'm wearing a tux and a beanie. How, how, <laughs> my tux, on, look man. at how good Fix my your tux hair, is, young uh, man. Yeah. What are your intentions, my daughter? You know, you, you've also had girlfriends whose parents don't approve of you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> in every that's angle of this song, yeah. like, I, I can relate to. Can so. relate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna learn four chords for this song. The first chord you're gonna learn is a D chord. So first up. Your pointer finger on the G string, second fret. Middle finger C string, second fret, and your ring finger on the E string, second fret. So I like to think of this as the top three strings. So when I say top three strings, the uh, the three strings that are closest to the ceiling, to the top of the room. So G, C, and E strings on the second fret. I like to use these three fingers, um, you know, for that, so I can get, you know, I can get a good. Kind of a consistent tone with all of you know with uh, with all three strings is good to get these chords down that require more than one you know than one finger and trying to get them down early. So because we have to kind of bunch up our fingers in such a small space, and we say this all the time. I know sometimes it goes without saying, but your wrist should really turn this way towards the headstock, and what that does is it allows room. For your, you know, for your fingers to fit because you're hitting them at an angle. See that? Instead of like coming at them straight, because if you're coming at them straight, they're not going to occupy the same straight line. Although they are, you know, they should be in a straight line. It is a little bit easier to get your, uh, to get your fingers in there. If you, uh, you know, if you do it like this, if you swing your wrist towards the headstock like so. This is the shock chord. Like with any chord that we show here, is all shock chords. Mm -hmm. So there it is. That's your D chord. And from here, uh, we're gonna go to an E7. So uh, how do we get to an E7 from here? You're gonna use your middle finger as an anchor. What that means is you're gonna let it, you know, let it stay down like an anchor. You're gonna drop anchor on your middle finger. Your ring and your pointer finger are going to lift up and they're going to move somewhere else. Your ring finger is going to lift up and go down one string to the A string second fret. Pointer finger is going to lift up and go one fret back. So it's a nice simple transition from your D to your E7. Pointer finger goes back one fret like so. Ring finger goes down one string. See that? So from the D to the E7. And our next chord is an F sharp minor. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch our pointer and our middle finger around. So our pointer and middle finger are going to switch so that your middle finger is on the G string second fret, pointer finger is on the C string first fret. See how see how I did that? Middle finger is going to go up one string, pointer finger is going to go down one string, and then ring finger is going to go up one string. Same frets. Okay? So we're not going to move frets with those fingers. Once again from the E7 to your F sharp minor, we release all these three these two fingers switch, pointer finger G, uh, sorry, C string first fret, middle finger G string second fret, ring finger on the E string second fret. So we have D, we have E7, and we have F sharp minor. Next up, or last but not least, we have an A chord, and all you gotta do is just release your ring finger from that F sharp minor chord. So your middle finger on the G string second, pointer finger on the C string first, will give you your A chord. So we have two different patterns for this song. The first pattern is D, E7, to our F sharp minor. The second one we have D, to our E7, to our A, and then our F sharp minor. So from E7, all you have to do is that you have to change the top two strings. So your pointer and your middle finger are gonna change. So you're, you're gonna leave your ring finger out of that change, like how you would normally go with the F sharp minor to the E string second fret. You're just gonna omit that. So you have just the G string second fret and C string first fret with your middle and pointer finger, okay? 
And then after that, you're gonna add the F sharp minor. So you're gonna just add this ring finger to the E string second fret. So it becomes D, E7, A, and then F sharp minor. For most of the song, it's going to be that. But for the first two lines, we're gonna go D, E7, and F sharp minor. And then do it again, F sharp minor. And then every single one after that is gonna be D, E7, A, and F sharp minor. All right, so with your right hand, now that we got our left hand stuff down, your right hand is just gonna strum a simple down, 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 okay? So it's gonna go down, down, down. Okay, so if you want to get fancy with it because it is in a in a reggae tune, you can skip some of those you know some of those strums. So uh, in in a reggae tune, because you know it's gonna have that kind of upbeat sound to it, you know, you um, in what reggae uh, music called skanking. So if you want to kind of skank it a little bit, it's gonna go one two three four one two three four. So you're skipping that one and three. So you know, and the first strumming that we showed you is just down. Down, down. So this is more on a down strum or the down beat. But if you want to play on an upbeat, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So although once, uh, although they both sound kind of the same, the second one is a little bit more fitting because you want to get in on beat two and four instead of one and three. Okay, but either one should work as long as we're in the same, you know, same key or same chords. If you sing the song, it, you know, it doesn't really matter how you strum it as long as you're in beat and in rhythm. Okay, Wait. and that's why the simplest of down strums will work for this song. What was that guy? Uh, just uh, they should just try and like match. Yeah, the rhythm, yeah, yeah. The rhythm of it, the, you know the rhythm of the, the song. It, yeah, if you're getting confused with one, two, like counting, yeah, yeah. like. Just, Feel it out, yeah. Forget yeah. all of that, and then mm -hmm. just like just the, strum when the Aldrin strum. strums. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just follow that's, my strumming. That's uh the whole old wine thing, right? Just yeah. press, just press, just, just press. press. So. Just go for it. Yeah. If you, you know, if you get it wrong, who cares? You're in the, you know, you're in the comfort of your own home. As long as you're playing along, <laughs> that's kind of you know all all we. Uh, all we care about here is uh, you know as long as you're playing as long as you're trying and um, you know don't don't worry if you can't get some of these chords try your best that's all we can you know we can really ask for is you try your best some of these songs you know uh, might not take the 45 minutes you know that it takes for us to teach it it might take a little bit longer and um, I'm gonna say it over and over again how you play today is going to be different by you know from how you play tomorrow or how you play next week or how you play next month if you you know if you keep at it, if you practice, you're gonna get better and better and better. All right. So if you're not too sure, just use maybe the Z chord. You know, if you can't do the E7 quite yet, you can do D1, and you skip that chord entirely if you want to do that, and just be like, I want to work on it later, but I want to play along with Eldrin now, and you can totally do that, no problem. All right. So let's try this out um, once again. Uh, if you guys are more visual learners, you can totally download the uh, the song sheet for Rude by Magic over at Ukulele Underground. And uh, how you do that is to go to um, down on the uh, down on the description yeah. below, and on the description it has the uh, you know has a link to sign up for the newsletter. If you sign up for the newsletter. Uh, it gives you the link to download all of these song sheets. The the reason why Aaron is kind of like laughing a little bit is because yeah. somebody was just asking, please show the chord diagrams. And I said, oh, yeah, oh yeah, you can yeah. download it in yeah. the description. So yeah. it, that's where you so get it. it. It is there. So download it in the, uh, in the description below. So the description below has a link. Sign up for the newsletter. The newsletter should have the link in order to, um, you know, to download these songs. And every single other song that we have over here at uh, Songs Made Easy, right, and, Kai? Uh, yeah, it, it, it'll just have every song, and then we'll, we update it when we mm -hmm. get new songs mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. So uh, before we we play the sure. song, or before you play the song, mm -hmm. can you go over how to go from your F sharp minor back to your D chord? Okay. That, so I mean, yeah, good, good, good. So from F sharp minor to get back to our D, from F sharp minor, you can use your ring finger to uh, to anchor this time, and all you have to do to get back to the D 
is uh, take your middle finger down one string and point a finger up to the G string second fret like this. So I'm leaving my ring finger there, I'm anchoring down, changing the chord. Okay, so from F sharp minor, there it is. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started. Try your best. You don't have to play this perfectly. If, uh, you know, if you can, it's totally fine. Uh, you know, it, you can watch this video over and over and over again to your heart's content until you get it or until you get bored and move on to something else. If you get bored and move on to something else, you can always come back. You know, the, once you once you get better, come back and learn the song again. So you know, if some of these chords are too hard for you right now, they will be better tomorrow, next week, next yes. month. It depends on you know, how you know how yeah. how you keep at it. Yeah. We, we we just like to say like even if you're just doing the Z yeah, chords, yeah. Even if like, you're just doing the Z chord the whole time, just, can I get you blessed today? That's good. I'm just do that. We can do that too. Yeah. Okay. And at least you'll be working on your right hand. You'll be working yeah. on rhythm and stuff. All good. Everybody ready? Here we go. We're gonna start off with our D chord. One, two, one, two, three, four. F sharp minor. I want to stick to that. Here we go. Saturday morning, jumped out of bed and put on my best suit. Got in my car and raced like a jet all the way to you. Here we go to the A. Knocked on your door with my heart in hand. To F sharp minor. Ask you a question. Cause I know that you're old-fashioned man can I have your daughter for the rest of my life say yes say yes cuz I need to know you say you'll never give me blessing for the day I die tough luck my friend but the answer is no and why you gotta be so rude and don't you know I'm human too why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway, marry that girl. Marry her anyway, marry that girl. We'll be family. Why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> I think I skipped a line. <laughs> Here we go. I hate to do this, you leave me no choice I can't live without her Love me or hate me, we will be boys Standing at that altar Oh, we will run away To another galaxy, you know You know she's in love with me she will go anywhere I go And your daughter for the rest of my life Say yes, say yes, cause I need to know You say I'll never get your blessing till the day I die Tough luck, my friend, cause the answer's still no Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway, marry that girl Marry her anyway, marry that girl No matter what you say, marry that girl And we'll be a family Why you gotta be so rude? Oh, can I have your daughter for the rest of my life? Say yes, say yes Cause I need to know You say I'll never get your blessing Till the day I die Tough luck my friend The answer is no Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway You marry that girl Marry her anyway You marry that girl no matter what you say, marry that girl And we'll be a family Why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> yeah, the more I sing the song, the more I look at the lyrics and stuff Like, 
And looking at it from a dad's point of view, it's like, whoa, I'm the rude one. <laughs> you know, you're the one writing songs about me. <laughs> you have to, uh, you have to write a response song. I think there this. was right. There was like, there oh, was like really? that guy like singing it like about his daughter, and then like the the, the wife like with the laundry like comes why, and does harmony. It's really cool. <laughs> why you gotta be so impolite? <laughs> yeah, we gotta be so impolite, man. Like, you know, you, I just want to know that my daughter's taken care of. Like, what's your job right now? Like that beanie's not telling me that much. <laughs> you, you're. So <laughs> back to the beanie. If <laughs> if I'm asking about your income, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't it's think like, it's a lot. If it, you're, you're it's like, I know you're human, I, you know, it's like it's it's fine. But then you telling me stuff like I'm gonna marry her anyway. It's like, hmm, do I want someone like you marrying my daughter? Like you know, it, it, <laughs> even even in the video, it's not even like okay, yeah, you made your point. You're a good guy. It's like. <laughs> Gosh, this guy just keeps asking. I better just say yeah. <laughs> he's just gonna keep coming to my door, and the next time he's gonna wear even like a bigger tuxedo or I something. Know. I don't know. Yeah, what he's Kanye West do. tuxedo, <sighs> like that, <laughs> that big suit that they have. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's play it again. But you know what? Uh, just to you know, just to go back to it once again. D, E7, and F sharp minor. Just for the first two lines, you're just gonna do that two times, and then the rest of it is D, E7. A then F sharp minor. All right, and if you guys want the visuals to this, head over to that newsletter and click on that link so that you can get uh, you know you can get access to all of the songs that we have over on Songs Made Easy, and that includes things like Wonderful Tonight, Just the Way You Are, Breakdown, Aloha Oi, Margaritaville, I Hear Music, Come and Get Your Love, Come Together. Love song, what's up? Waiting in vain, wagon wheel, escape. Snap, we have a lot of songs Ooh. and songs made easy. Well, we have like a few more too. Like mm-hmm. that's some fallen and yeah. uh, what uh, what I got. What that was I last got, week. yeah, that was uh, that was last week. Mm-hmm. You know, we got fallen the week before. So there's lots of stuff over on songs made easy. And if you're you know if you're approaching the ukulele for the first time, or these are your first few days, or first few weeks, or first few months and stuff, this is the perfect playlist for you because not only can you play these songs you know like uh in this kind of easy format but you can actually take this easy format and add to it so for example you know this uh the song rude it you know you don't have to necessarily just do down strums if you're starting to kind of improve on your ukulele you can do down up down up maybe so Saturday morning, jumped out of bed. So you know it starts from just a simple down strum, and then you can uh, you can add on to a down up strum, or you can you know you, uh, if you're an advanced player, you can even do some uh, uh, some left hand mutes. So the songs made easy are not just for people who are beginners, but it's for everyone. If you want, you know, if you want to see. Uh, if you want to have a visual of um, you know of the chords and this and the chord pattern that we have there, because it doesn't, we don't show the strumming pattern for you know for most of them. The strumming pattern is open for interpretation for you folks, because we want to get you guys, um, you know, to kind of uh, start doing the strumming pattern and feeling out the uh, feeling out the rhythm instead of like being told what the strumming pattern is, because um, you know this is a uh, is a format where like it's just down, 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 down. So it's open for interpretation after that. Like however you feel the rhythm, that's how you should strum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most like, definitely. Well, like all of our lessons, the mm-hmm. strumming pattern is recommendation. Yeah, yeah, those are suggestions. But uh, some people do take them as like, oh, I gotta do this, and it's yeah. like, oh no, 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 <laughs> no, no, do do what you want, please. You know, <laughs> like don't 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 make it so like yeah. you have to listen to us like do what feels good to you right and you know you could always graduate over to like uh to the full lessons over on ukulele underground um we don't necessarily have rude but we have a lot of songs you know that that are, that are in that mm-hmm. kind of reggae style if you like uh what i got by sublime you, uh you know we also have some bob marley songs in there we have uh, amber by 311 so if you yep. like to keep it a little bit more rock reggae we have stuff like that too we have loads of things over at ukulele on the ground.com so if you want to learn how to play the ukulele ukulele on the ground.com is the best place to go learn how to play the ukulele and while you're there sign up for uu plus to take your ukulele playing to an even higher level so next next level yep it's million levels <laughs> million it's- levels you need the, yeah. the scanner. 
And yeah. the, ah, it's over nine. It's 000. over nine thousand levels. We gotta. <laughs> we can't let people think that we're too cool. We have yeah. to insert a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit of that, <laughs> like nerdy, you know. <laughs> it's like this guy. It's you can I level bet, up your weapon to however love many levels that you want. I bet people were like, cool. "Don't worry, we were not thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> we're not thinking that you were cool at all." <laughs> You don't have to worry. It's like, Calm hello, down. you're playing ukulele, so... <laughs> that, ukulele is well, very cool. <laughs> I think that is the one cool thing about me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Everything you else. You wrong. I, do I think not. our audience mm-hmm. will, uh, you know, will agree with me that ukulele is very cool. <laughs> yes. Very cool. <laughs> All right. So, let's, uh, let's jam this song again. Here we go. I'm going to start off with D. So one, and we're just gonna go straight into it. Last time we did kind of an intro and stuff. It's gonna go straight into it, just like the song. Saturday, you know, so on and so forth. One, two, one, two, three, four. Saturday morning, jumped out of bed, put on my best suit, and got in my car and raced like a jet all the way to you. Knocked on your door with my heart in hand To ask you a question Cause I know that you're an old-fashioned man Yeah. Can I have your daughter for the rest of my life? Say yes, say yes, cause I need to know You say I'll never get your blessing till the day I die Tough luck, my friend, the answer is no why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway, marry that girl. Marry her anyway, marry that girl. Yeah, no matter what you say, marry that girl and we'll be a family. Why you gotta be so rude? I hate to do this, you leave no choice I can't live without her Love me or hate me, we will be boys Standing at that altar Oh, we will run away To another galaxy, you know You know she's in love with me She will go anywhere I go Your daughter for the rest of my life Say yes, say yes, cause I need to know You say I'll never get your blessing till the day I die Tough luck, my friend, cause the answer's still no Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway, marry that girl Marry her anyway, marry that girl No matter what you say, marry that girl And we'll be a family Why you gotta be so rude? Hum solo, Kai (laughs) I don't even know (laughs) La 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 Let's go to come and get your breath Can I get your daughter? Can I have your daughter for the rest of my life? Say yes, say yes, cause I need to know You say I'll never get your blessing till the day I die Tough luck, my friend No still means no Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna marry her anyway, marry that girl Marry her anyway, marry that girl No matter what you say, marry that girl And we'll be a family Why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> Alright, so, ending to that story uh, my own personal story when uh, I asked my my now wife like to marry me over in Italy and stuff and not, the video not, was online <laughs> not your next wife or no, not my next wife. wife my current wife my current <laughs> wife yeah my current wife <laughs> um, 
So I asked her over in Italy, and then um, and then we told like our family that you know, like, oh, we're engaged and stuff. So I didn't do the traditional like oh, I gotta go, you know, like um, ask ask my now father in law like you know for a hand in marriage. So we called him up. We're like, hey, we got engaged in uh, in Italy. He's like, it's about time. <laughs> that was uh, that was like my the, you know <laughs> the story of uh, my my brother in law. Yeah. Uh, and he asked my my dad we were visiting uh them and mm. he asked my dad while they were alone and yeah. my it was my dad my mom and my brother-in-law mm. so my brother-in-law was like oh i'm thinking about asking kira to get married yeah. and my mom was like why are you asking him what about me ask me <laughs> it's and, my daughter yeah <laughs> and, my daughter too and he's like oh sorry yeah uh can, can i marry you know yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i thought about it i mean like when when we were like still kind of dating and like I, you know, I was like, okay, so say, you know, say I want to get married. So do I have to go and ask your dad? She's like, no, I actually prefer you don't ask my dad. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> like works for me, you know, whatever you do. And like, I think a year or two later, because I was already kind of planning on it. And I was like, okay, all right. So I guess I don't need to do that. So I checked that off my list, you know, and then once we, once we told him, it's like, it's about time. It's <laughs> fine. It's been a long time because you, you guys are practically married anyway. So why don't you just do it like so it was good and you know i trusted my wife in that sense like i don't have to ask him right you know she's like no and it worked out it worked, <laughs> it worked out, it worked out. And he's, just, <laughs> he's like what you never asked me and blah 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 no he was like kind or, of like relieved <laughs> or it's like after you ask her she's like oh so you asked my dad first right it was like you told me not you to told me not- <laughs> what <laughs> He's gonna see that video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is not a good way to start a marriage. Oh no! Yeah, it was over in Italy and stuff. It was uh, actually really, like, really sweet because I had done a um, a workshop on how to play like um, noho pai pai. I was like, okay, so you know, um, and <laughs> I was very, very slick about it. I, I was playing solo over in Italy at the at an ukulele festival. And um, I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna all play noho pai pai now. And um, I had brought my wife as my um, my public relations manager, my PR manager. So she's taking pictures and whatever because she's actually a photographer, great photographer. Check her out, H Toshiko Photo. <laughs> so uh, so I was like, hey, Heather, come up on stage and take a picture of me, like um, you know, like like playing with uh playing this with this crowd she's like okay that's not a weird request like i'll go up on stage <laughs> you know like with, with Aldrin. and it's like oh say hello to the crowd like this is my girlfriend like you know like yeah there say hello to the crowd so she goes in the front and then uh, she turns around and i'm on my knees like oh you marry me and she's like no and I'm like, just joking. <laughs> she's like yes and i tell people i was joking around like you know if she said no i'm in italy it's like oh well i have your ticket home so uh find your own way home i guess <laughs> you know <laughs> oh. i'm in italy most romantic place on the planet i'll be just fine <laughs> nah 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 you should have nah Heather, nah nah <laughs> people are saying you're gonna get in trouble <laughs> <laughs> nah nah Heather, nah nah <laughs> <laughs> that's the ultimate right like that's the ultimate like you can't get mad at me you can't, nah, nah, nah. Nah, you've locked us in you know it's in, in filipino marriage we don't believe in uh, <laughs> divorce and stuff it takes a long time for annulment <laughs> so you're stuck with this in this face <laughs> I, I like hanging out with you and heather because then when you do stuff like that yeah. she's just like yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why did I say yes? <laughs> but you know what? Um, thank you so much for watching Songs Made Easy. We really appreciate it. Tomorrow we will have a Songs Made Easy jam. It's going to be our second Songs Made Easy jam. We we had a lot of fun last week. We played mm-hmm. a lot of songs and stuff. And um, we want to do it every week. So just like the Aloha Friday Live jam, we do have a jam for uh, Songs Made Easy every week now. Except... Next week, we are not going to have Songs Made Easy simply because it's Thanksgiving. We want you guys to uh, spend some time with your family. Regardless if you, you know, observe Thanksgiving or not, I feel like there's got to be someone special in your life. May it be your, you know, your wife, your family, your cat, your video games, whatever it is, you know. Just spend a little time to be thankful, you know, that day. And I think we can make the world a better place, as Jake Shimabu would say. If you just play ukulele, if everyone played ukulele, yeah. you know, the world would be a better place. Let's just... 
Let's make the See? world suck a little less on that day by just being <laughs> grateful to each other. Turn turn your ukulele to you and be yeah. like, I am thankful for I you. I am so thankful. Yeah. Best Mwah. friend, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, that song? <laughs> Midnight Hour? Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Best friend, y'all. Mwah. I love this yeah. thing. It's Thank almost you. like you're recreating our first video, right? Love yeah, song. that's a love song. <laughs> with that with Mika. That was, whatever happened to Mika? Mika's oh. with my mother-in-law. Like she's taking care of me. She's retired. She's in the retirement home. Mika's, you know, <laughs> cruising it by the, uh, by, by the bocce balls. <laughs> she's she's living it up. Um, yeah. So thank you so much. Next week there's not gonna be any songs made easy or songs made easy jam. But we will see you folks tomorrow at I believe twelve o'clock. So twelve o'clock yep. for the songs made easy jam. And then right after that at one o'clock is the Aloha Friday Live Jam. So jam with us on Aloha Friday Live Jam. You can use the same kind of um, thing that we taught you today just kind of follow the um, you know follow the rhythm you don't necessarily have to add the chunks and the rolls and all that down up chunk up whatever things that we do there you can just follow the rhythm simply follow the rhythm okay try your best and just like today you know if if tomorrow you try the uh, Aloha Friday Life Jam and you're having a you know having a hard time and stuff just do the Z chord but just try your best Okay, so you have two hours of jamming tomorrow. One hour of easy time, the other hour of just for fun time. Yeah. All right. So we'll see you guys next time. Um, if you guys are UU Plus subscribers, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching coming up right after this. So stick around for that if you're UU Plus subscribers. Have a great one. Sign up for the newsletter and check out ukulelaintheground.com. Sign up for UU Plus to take your ukulele playing to a bajillion levels. <laughs> <laughs> At least over 9,000. At least over 9,000. Thank you so much. Have a great one. And happy Thanksgiving. Aloha.